Hey, Dave with Align Therapy here. I have a research article I wanted to talk about today that's actually very clinically applicable. One thing that we see in, in our clinic with scoliosis and other spine deformities is leg length differences. Uh, chances are if you have scoliosis and you've seen a chiropractor specifically, you probably have been told you have a leg length difference and, and they probably put a lift un under one leg. Uh, sometimes with primary care they'll do that too, sometimes um, orthopedics will do that too and sometimes it is an actual thing but sometimes it just looks like it is because with the pelvis shifted to the side it looks like your your pelvis is uneven. So uh, how do we know if someone actually has a leg length difference that we need to address? That's what I want to talk about today. This research article talks about uh, it's titled leg length discrepancy and adolescent idiopathic scoliosis clinical and radiological characteristics. So uh, it actually came out in January of 2021 and they used 47 scoliosis patients um, with diagnosed leg length discrepancy uh, and they were 10 to 18 years old. So they looked at these and they did a few different tests to see if the leg length difference was actually there clinically and radiologically and if they needed to address it. So they came up with one way that they could that they could test for this without having an x-ray. This is something in physical therapy that's been a challenge is figuring out if someone has a true leg length difference because measuring with tape measures and things it doesn't take into account the soft tissues and and where the landmarks are. So I'm going to show you a quick and easy way, <clears throat> way to do this and uh, all you need is a scoliometer and you need uh, some magazines and, and probably a ruler. So let's, let's talk about this. This is Kyle. Kyle's one of the students here at Align Therapy. And I recruited him to do this video with me. Um, and let me show you how, how we can look and see if someone has a leg length difference that's contributing to scoliosis. One thing to think about is the long leg is usually on the concave side of the curve if it's contributing to scoliosis. And usually it's contributing to scoliosis in the, the low back or the lumbar spine. So if you have a leg length difference and the longer leg is on the convex side of the curve, it's probably not affecting uh, creating the scoliosis. But if we have a leg length difference that is contributing to scoliosis or creating what we call a functional scoliosis, which isn't structural, um, then if we address that, we take a lot of the, the scoliosis curve away. So let me show you how to measure this. So the first, first thing that you need is a scoliometer. Uh, there are a few different types of scoliometers out there, but this scoliometer is just basically a level that gives me a degree with that little ball that goes back and forth. So we do have a video on how to use a scoliometer if you don't know how to use one, but they're pretty simple. So we're going to take this scoliometer. I'm going to have Kyle turn around. And Kyle's going to touch his toes, not yet. Um, and we're going to look for S1. So the way to find S1, if you put your hands on top of the what's called the iliac crest or the hip, the hip bones, the pelvis right here, and then you come back here, you can find two knobby spots on the pelvis. They're called the PSIS. So the PSIS is the back, the bump on the back side of the, the pelvis. Um, on most people you can see it, it's, it has a dimple, it's called the dimple of Venus. And you can feel kind of a bump right under there. That's what we're looking for. Right between the PSIS is S2. So we're going to go up one level. Um, one level there depends on the size of the person, but it could be about the width of your thumb or, or something like that but it's definitely not as high as the top of the pelvis. So you should be in that area right there. So then I'm gonna have Kyle touch his toes, bend forward, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna center that scoliometer, over here so we can see here, we're gonna center that scoliometer right over that S1 point. And we're gonna to look to see if it's level in the middle. I'm gonna keep Kyle here and see how long his hamstrings can tolerate this. But if you see, Kyle has, this is showing three degrees. So Kyle might have a longer left leg than his right leg. So come on back up, Kyle. So that's the first part of the test. So we got a three degree scoliometer reading. Now what we're gonna do 
is I'm going to take magazines, where are my magazines, right here, um, and I'm going to put these underneath his right leg until we level out the scoliometer. And then we're going to measure how, how thick those magazines are to determine his leg length difference. Clinically, we can use like pieces of wood or something that has a known width, and, and that works just fine. So let's put one under his right leg. Technically, it just has to be under his heel. And go and bend forward again. So we're going to find that same spot right there. S1. So now we're down one and a half or two. Come on back up, Kyle. We're going to stick another one under there. Go ahead and bend forward, touch your toes. And we're pretty close there, probably a half. So I'm going to leave that there. Come on back up. And let me steal those. So then we would measure the width of, of those to see what his leg length difference is. So that's a quick and easy way you can quantify how, how big a leg length difference is. And then correcting that, I usually use just a heel lift. And those heel lifts, um, I usually don't correct the full leg length difference. I'll usually go at 50% but that's for another video down the road. But if you are wondering if you have a leg length difference or have been told you have a leg length difference, or you're a clinician looking at leg length discrepancies, this is a great way to do a quick and easy measurement to see how that's affecting the scoliosis. So if you have questions, uh, let me know. Uh, you can check out our website, aligntherapyutah.com, and thanks for watching.